Next six weeks, you got to warm up. You want to do it every single day. We're going to start with side bends. In between 28 and 50 pounds. Notice the feet are apart. We actually want to get them together. You're sliding the kettlebell towards the knee and standing up to straight, not going past it. So again, you bring your feet together. You're going to have 10 of these. So 10 side bends, dumbbell, kettlebell, anywhere between 25 and 50 pounds. It's your choice. Um, you're not trying to get a huge workout. You're just trying to get this to, to mobilize. Next, we're going to have a scap shrugs. If you cannot do scap shrugs with your elbows locked, then you're going to start them on your knees. What I want with scap shrugs is your elbows are locked. Today, you're going to have your hands facing forward. Your feet and knees are together. Your glutes are tight, and you're trying to squeeze your shoulder blades together. Really get them together. Pinch them like you're pinching a pencil, and then push the floor away so you round your back. Your back will be rounded like a mad cat. You got 10 of those. Third, we got a cobra position, hands, uh, hand, elevated arms. This can be, this is being done for 30 seconds. This can be done on a table. This can be done on a set of stairs. You're just pushing your armpits down. Get a 30 seconds total. Side of our arches, hip touches the ground. I don't care if your feet are stacked. I don't care which foot's in front of the other. I do want you to bring your hip all the way to the ground. Keep your legs locked. You got seven per side. Hip to the ground, hip to the sky. You can do it with your hand on your chest. You can do it with your elbow high in the air. You can reach over your head. It doesn't really matter. Again, seven per side. It doesn't matter which way your feet are stacked. Next, we have hollow rocks. Arms over your head like you're doing a handstand. You're really pushing your hands away. If you can't do them without doing a lot of hip folding, then you'll do a bent hollow rock position. You're going to have ten total. We want a clean transition like the bottom of a rocking chair. 10 hollow rocks. Next we have Cossacks. The heel stays down on the, the bent leg. The straight leg, I want the toes to the sky, and I do not want that heel in the air. Do not let that bent leg heel come up. Stay in that heel. If you have to use your arms, use your arms. Get your butt as low to the ground as you can and turn those toes to the sky. I don't want to see the toes uh, of the straight legs stay on the ground. 10 of those. Next, last, we're going to have this lunge, step forward, twist to the sky. Try to keep that front heel on the ground. Don't let that front heel come off the ground. Open your hip, open your knee. You're going to have 10 of these. That'll be five per side. So no jump switching. It's just nice and mellow. Again, you got 10 of those. Uh, you got a total of four rounds. Thank you. Have fun.